girl, listen. <clears throat> I know that I got about uh, 10 minutes at this point to get this review out and done before what you call it come on. But I feel like I could get this done in, in probably about less than five, to be honest. Bad Boys LA Season 1, Episode 6, Fashion and Fights. So the episode continues with um, the same scene between Mulan and uh, carry on. And I'm just like, damn, we still on this shit. So Milan claims that he's mad at her about how carry on came off of him feeling like he was disrespectful. Carry on decides to ride with production um, to get his mind right for the fashion show. Then they pull up to the fashion show and then Milan decides to run up on another person um, yet again. But Carry on didn't see it coming. Carry on didn't know that it was going to happen. And I felt like that was very disrespectful for Milan to use that time to want to run up on somebody. And I agree with Gutter and, and, and Relly. You had all of that space and opportunity to fight Carry on when y'all was outside at the parking lot. But it's once you in the middle of a crowd that now you want to go out there and, and 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 want to go and fight somebody. And the thing about it is, Mulan, you such a damn starving artist for any type of reality. Like, that's why I said, you were up here putting on for the camera so bad, Mulan, but you should really feel embarrassed because you was once on a national syndicated reality TV show, and now you've been being reduced down to being on some shit that people are only going to see if you're paying $4.99 a month. Like, I'm just going to be honest. Like, you should really feel a way that you was once on VH1 working with Viacom, if it's still with them, and, and Mona and all of them. To now, you sit around here slumming it up with these bitches, no shade to, uh, to gutter, none of them. You know, I ain't really necessarily talking to you, sir, because y'all know I live for my gutter. But y'all know what I mean. Like, it's it's like you want to be the king of this shit so bad. And, and it's, it's, it's sad. It's sad and it's, it's, it's pathetic is what it is. It's pathetic. And then you a goddamn liar. You can't just stand in what it is. Carry on didn't do nothing to you. True indeed. Your feelings are valid. Why have somebody else do it that don't know what they're doing that has to look it up on YouTube versus having somebody that actually knows what they're doing? But here's my thing to you. Because, see, you claim that you this big fish and this big wig and you this, this, that, and this. Why, where your producer friends at? Why you ain't got none of your producer friends to come around there and do a solid for you for the one time to get this shit done? That's what I want to know. Where your people at? Where your pool at? You so quick to want to tear down other bitches. Where your pool at? Whatever. Um. So Winnie, the guy that has that's the charge of the fashion show, is very disappointed in Mulan. And I'm glad that he still knew how to be a friend, but still knew how to call Mulan out on his bullshit. And I appreciated that. He said, friend, I understand how you feel at the end of the day. There's a time and a place for all of that. And for you to pick this time to do this in front of my shindig, when you know what this is for, is very disrespectful to me. You could have handled all of this up around there to the studio, like I said. There was nothing but space and opportunity down to the damn studio. Y'all was right here, down to the damn studio. Y'all could have fought it out then, and then y'all could have been over the shit by it was time to get to do what it had to do. Like, <sighs> so Mula feels like when he doesn't have things in order and it was last minute and nobody's there would touch them up with well, listen Mula the whole thing was toned up a janky because right after that the damn power went out and it's just like once again Zeus is sitting here trying to make some shit top of the notch and top line and it's going to be this and it's in the middle of Hollywood and it's that and it's this and, and no shade to Winnie but a girl, a crackhead could have pulled <laughs> could have pulled a much better job getting um the, the, the fashion show together and getting it done the way that it was supposed to be done. Uh, no shade to Winnie. It's no shade to Winnie. Winnie says she showed up blue batons, all the Abilie Er word of it. But it's just funny to me at how Zeus always claims that something is so top notch, so you got to be this and you got to be that. But then they get there, it's just janky. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. Um, but whatever. 
Mulan, uh, Mulan decides to get her shit together long enough to come and put her clothes on and walk the damn fashion show. Fine. So everybody walked the fashion show. And you know, listen, look, I know, I know all of the sissies are supposed to not like Mula, but I ain't no sissy. So this don't pertain to me. All right. I don't know what it is about Mula, but he moved. I, look, I, listen, I, look, I, mm, I don't mm, like, listen, he talk, I don't know why you felt a way about what you had on Mula because you was real cute in it. Like, I don't know why you felt the way about it. Like, I thought you was real cute in what you had on. You was very handsome or whatever. I mean, you really was. Curtis was real cute too. I ain't gonna lie, Curtis, you was real cute. Curtis, um, was name really was right. You was walking faster than the speed of light. I was like, Curtis, relax, sis. Like people, people, you got to give the girls time to soak in what you got on. You know what I mean? Like you was walking real fast, and it's just like, <laughs> child. Curtis, you got on my nerves, but I'll fuck your ass too. Anyway, we moving on from that. Everybody, everybody else walked that they did what they were supposed to do. So they get down to the next day, and Curtis, Gullet, Dylan talk about everything that happened the day before. And then Mula goes to talk to Milan about what happened the day before. And then really Miss Anthony and Carrion was outside at the pool talking about what happened the day before. And I'm just sitting here like I'm getting sick and tired of that shit. All of y'all bitches is picked up around the house to talk about the same shit. Like that's why I was glad when Relly said, you know what? So that he don't feel like we just being fake to talk behind his back. I'ma call a family meeting that everybody can just get off of their chest how, how we feel. And I really wished people would have just did that when y'all like see it's shit like this that I, I'm sitting here like this shit not gonna last long because everybody is supposed to be a bad bitch until it's time to be a bad bitch. Because my thing about it is the first thing y'all did when y'all sit down would we'll say well carry on is there anything that you feel like you need to apologize to Milan for and I was on carry on side with how he felt when he said y'all some flip flop of bitches especially Miss Anthony and Miss Anthony I ain't gonna give you too much because I know somebody that know you so I ain't gonna give you too much but if I was carry on I would have been Air aggravated too because it's like we was just outside all in agreement that he had no reason to come at me like that he had no reason to discredit me and the things that I have done and, and such and such and such a, he had no reason to shade me like that that's what made me go off the way that I did all of y'all was outside in agreement with that hell really be you sat outside and shaded him so I'm not understand how it is when y'all get in there. Now it becomes, well, carry on. What do you think? Do you have anything to apologize for? Nah, I thought the purpose of the meeting was for y'all to sit down and be like, listen, Milan, I'm about to be real with you, girl. The shit that you did yesterday were well, not only with carry on, but that whole thing of running up on him and he didn't know you. this is the third bitch that I ran up on and blah, 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 blah. Ain't none of that happened. It got back down to sit to Milan trying to skew the situation in his favor. Then tried to sit up and pull a Karen move uh, using trigger words and buzzwords like, oh, I think he got something mental going on. I think he's psychiatric, so I'm not even going to fight him and all of the rest of that. And it's like, nah, bitch, where was all of that energy at last night when you snuck him? Then, care listen. Carry on, baby. I love you down, but you are not a fighter. All right. You're not a fighter. That's not you. Like, I, you're just not, baby. You're not. You, you, you're not a fighter. I don't know why you're not. As long as you said your dad had been whooping your ass around the house, I would think that you would be able to defend yourself in some way, type, form, or fashion at this point, because it's just like we see in the next episode, y'all do fight, but you, you don't fight like that. And then you walk around here trying to act like you won or you did something or this, this, that, that. Like you just ran up on him while he was still laid up in the corner putting his set up. Like you were supposed to snipe his ass, <laughs> snipe his ass up. Then, Miss Carrion, like, Miss Girl, look, 
if anything, windmill. I'd much rather you windmill up, windmill a nigga versus you. Carry on. I love you, baby. And I'm on your side. But it's just like, I'm tired. This is the second time a, a, a nigga done whoops your damn ass. I'm just saying, like, you be going off and you be talking a good game. But when it's time to put your hands up, you all thumbs, boo. That's all I'm saying. But y'all, that's it. That's all I got. I ain't got no more to get y'all. Like I said, it won't much to this damn episode. And I ended it in just enough time because Candy and the game finna come on. But y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about tonight's episode. And until next Sunday, girl, I'ma holla at y'all later. We're Bad Boys Club. Bad.